right now. Live, local, one hour earlier. Fox 29 News at 10 starts now. A federal raid today shut down four pain clinics in Palm Beach County. Pill mills are such a huge problem in our area that police say the number of pill mills in the county outnumber the amount of McDonald's. Fox 29's Roe Norman is live in West Palm Beach with what one parent who lost her son to pill mills is saying about today's crackdown. Roe? Jay and Shannon, uh, local advocacy groups say the closure of those four pain clinics is definitely a step in the right direction. Local groups like NOPE, the Narcotic Overdose Prevention and Education Task Force, are hoping there will be many more busts to help them put an end to the illegal pill mill epidemic. Earlier today, federal agents closed 22 pain clinics in South Florida, including four in Palm Beach County. The investigation took a year, and authorities say more than half a million pills were treated. Parents like Margie Galassi say pill mills do more harm than good to its patients. Galassi believes the government should be doing more to regulate prescription drug accessibility. They have their own pharmacy in their office and they just dispense right from there. So nobody ever knows who they're giving these drugs to. Now, coming up at 11 p.m. on our sister station, WPTV News Channel 5, more from Margie Galassi and the uh, tragic loss that her family had to endure as a result of pill mills. Live in West Palm Beach, Roe Norman, Fox 29 News. Roe, thank you. And Martin County took a big step in stopping pill mills. Commissioners passed an ordinance yesterday regulating these so called pain clinics. The ordinance will prevent pain clinics from being closer than 1,000 feet from any other pain management clinic and also keep them further than 5,000 feet from I-95 or Florida's Turnpike. They